Hey guys, I traveled for 16 hours to New York to cover the Samsung Galaxy Unpack 2022 where they'll be launching two new smartphones. I guess alam naman natin na walang Note series this time, but there will be two foldables, the so Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and yung pinaka excited ako, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. So these are the four new things about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Number one, the cameras. Usually, sa mga foldables, may compromises pa rin yan. And kadalasan, di ba, makikita mo yan sa camera, sa photo quality. So, in the case of the Flip 3, decent naman yung cameras niya. Pero, if you compare them to, you know, photos taken with non-foldable flagships, hindi pa rin siya at par. So, what can we expect from the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4? Samsung says that the newest Flip has a 65% brighter pixel sensor and because it has enhanced OIS and VDIS, the videos are more stable and it can take better low-light photos. These are some sample shots I took with a smartphone and while I've only had a few hours with it, from what I can tell, nakikita naman yung improvements sa picture quality. I can't wait to take it around New York to see what it's really capable of. And if you guys have, you know, certain requests, some mga pictures, mga photo styles, I'll try to execute them. I'll try to do them. So isasama ko yun sa follow up video and follow us on Instagram as well. That's Unbox PH. Kasi I will post the pictures there as well. Para makita nyo den. Kamusta nga ba talaga yung cameras ng Z Flip 4? Number two, a more useful cover screen. So hindi na lang siya pa cute ngayon. Previously, the cover screen had a limited number of apps that you can use. It'll show notifications, you can put GIFs, take photos and videos with it without having to open the phone. With the Z Flip 4, you can do all those things and more. Now you can actually reply without opening the phone using emojis and text-to-speech. You can manage the settings of your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, you can turn on airplane mode, you can turn on the flashlight. But for me, the biggest improvement is still the camera because now you can change the ratio and field of view on the cover screen which you can't do before. So ngayon, kung kailangan yung mag-shoot ng vertical photo or vertical video, pwede nyo na gawin without opening your smartphone. Number three, it has a bigger battery. Isa kasing naging problem ko sa Z Flip 3, especially when I started going out and naka-LTE ako palagi is ang bilis niya madrain. So this one has a 3,700mAh versus yung 3,300mAh ng Flip 3. So it'll last a bit longer and the charging is a bit faster too kasi you can go from 0 to 50% in 30 minutes. So honestly, it's still not the fastest charging speed out there but it's definitely faster than before. Number four, and I really had to include this, the colors are so fun. So it comes in Bora purple, in blue, in pink gold. Meron din namang graphite if you want a more classic color. But syempre, mas attracted ako dun sa tatlo. And I can imagine yung mga army dyan would really just go and charge and get the Bora purple. Ang ganda niya talaga. And the great thing is, it has a matte finish, so you don't have to worry about fingerprints, especially if you're one of the few na hindi gumagamit ng jelly case, a smartphone. Plus, I think that the matte finish plus the metallic shiny sides, they just go so well together, making the smartphone look even better. And as a bonus, it looks so good with the Galaxy Watch 5 and the Buds 2 Pro. And that's just the looks. I'm talking about the purple one, which is my favorite. But the fact na isang ecosystem lang sila, I'm sure they work seamlessly together, which makes things even better. You get a 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display on this one. And again, Samsung doesn't disappoint, particularly in this department. They still have the best AMOLED displays where you can really see the colors pop and the crispness of the details. The crease is still there though. You can see it. It, you can feel it but basing it off my experience with the Flip 3 eventually kasi if you use it long enough parang nasasanay na yung mata mo sa crease and you just don't notice it anymore you also get a 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate for the processor, it's Snapdragon kasi ganun naman lagi yung case pag foldables. We're getting a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset with 8GB of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Again guys, I haven't really used a smartphone long enough to give you my personal experience with this new chipset but 
come on, it's new, it's fast, I'm sure it's gonna be great. Okay, so for those of you who are still concerned about the durability of foldables, well, this one is protected by Gorilla Glass Victus Plus and Armor Aluminum plus my IPX8 rating siya. And what's also interesting is that Samsung toured us and showed us how they tested yung folding capability of the Fold 4 and the Flip 4. And I'll show you a video of it right now. And makikita talaga natin kung natinatest naman talaga nila and they said that it passed 200 thousand fold so yun yung pwede natin ni expect from this device and from personal experience guys using the flip 3 for a long time no una lang medyo nakakailang to open and close the smartphone but eventually you get used to it and you get to trust the phone and the durability and the build quality of the hinge Speaking of the hinge, hindi lang naman siya pag open and pang close ng smartphone. It's actually very helpful if you're taking photos and videos of yourself using the front camera. You can be creative kasi ang daming angles, iba parang it opens all the way. So yun. And it's also very helpful if may mga Zoom calls or Google Meet kasi you just, you know, open it a bit, patong siya sa table, solved na. So ito na ang exciting question. How much is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip? For, san siya available and paano ka makakamura. So as of making this video guys, wala pang official local price ang Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. However, if you're totally, totally convinced that this is a smartphone for you, I really suggest na go for the pre-order kasi ang daming freebies, ang ganda ng offer. And another way also para mabawasan yung cash out is to trade in your old smartphone. That's also an option for you and something that, you know, Samsung usually does. And of course, you can always get it through your telcos. And that's it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and on Instagram. My name is Leia. Stay safe, happy, and healthy, everyone. Bye!